Alan Parsons remembers the great John Miles, who wasn't a big, big artist in North America. But if you look up John Miles in music, near the end of the song, when they go into this rapturous piece of music, you'll recognize him from so many TV shows, most notably sports shows. We talked to Alan Parsons about the late, great John Miles. By the way, John Miles, to you, I'm kind of curious because he's an enigma to me because I didn't know that much about him. Uh, Sympathy, I love that album, by the way. just love that album. But to you, John Miles was, what do you, how do you describe John Miles? Um, just the most musical guy I've ever known. Um, he, great, great keyboard player, great guitar player, great singer. And uh, the nicest guy you could ever, ever imagine. It was a huge loss to, that, that, that we lost him this year. Very sad. It's- I talked to uh, David Henschel uh, a little while ago, a couple of years ago, and, and we were talking about Richard Perry. I'm always interested in producers and, you know, Richard Perry's got this photographic memory, everyone says, and he's got like nine million loops behind him of reel to reel. And he's not sure which one he's going to pick, but he knows where it is. And I'm going, well, that sounds mm-hmm. like an urban legend. Uh, how do you how do you juggle as a producer? What's your you, you must have a system of juggling those cats like there's so much going on at one time, have you trained your mind to be able to do that? I mean, that, the... I don't know. I, I just, uh, I act on instinct. Uh, I just uh, add a, a layer or a, an instrument or a backing vocal part or whatever, um, according to what I think the song needs. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I don't know. It, it, it uh, uh, that's more more of an engineering question, I think. You know uh, how you deal with uh, multiple layers and how you how you mix it, how you how you balance uh, balance the sounds. Um, recording engineers at Abbey Road used to be called balance engineers that, because that's what they did. They 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 balanced up the instruments, and um, it was it was a good it was a good good name for it. Uh, they they uh, I, I, I'm not sure if they use it these days. I don't, I don't think they do. But uh, that that was the title. You were either a second engineer or a balance engineer. I mean, we we survive uh, when we play live on on the catalog, essentially. Until this album came, uh, you know, came about, we based our set entirely on uh, material recorded between 1976 and 1987 with the Alan Parsons project. On each Alan Parsons album, we. You know, we, we, we played a couple of songs, you know, from, from each new album. You know, there's, there's no real uh, urgency as far as I'm concerned, no real strong desire to play new material. Um, it's, you know, the, the, the audience come to hear the hits and we're, we're happy to continue to respect that, the fact that that's what they want. I've just put an album out uh, called uh, From the New World. Uh, we, we mentioned Vorjak and it includes that Vorjak uh, song. Uh, but... It, I felt uh, I, I have felt for years that I would like to do a version of "Be My Baby" by the Ronettes, and we've included that as as the last track on on this new album. I put, I've actually put out three uh, t- two studio albums uh, quite recently, and uh, two live albums also came out this year. Um, one in one in Tel Aviv uh, and one in uh, Utrecht in Holland. Mm-hmm. The Tel Aviv one is with uh, the Israel Sym- Symphony Orchestra, a Philharmonic Orchestra. So. It's, uh, I'm rather proud of that. We'll have more from Alan Parsons coming up in the next two, three days. This series will also feature older clips from our first interview with Alan about a year ago and clips from not the most used singer for Alan Parsons. That was Eric Wolfson, Alan Parsons' partner, but Lenny Zakatek, who sang a lot of their popular songs. We talked to him a couple of years ago and we thought we'd fit some of those clips into this series. He's an amazing singer. That's coming up in the next few days. Make sure you support our channel. You can use the two Ps. One is Patreon. You get early access to our videos. Or if you just want to make a donation, there's a PayPal link in the description. Also in the description, links on how you can pick up the new Alan Parsons album or how you can pick up the Alan Parsons Project box set of all their studio LPs. It's all in the links. Make sure you share our videos on social media. We'd appreciate that. It makes a huge difference. And remember, we read all the comments, like our video, and subscribe to our channel. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.